Hello, everybody. I wanted to describe one last problem uh, for graphs that can be set up as an integer linear programming problem. This is one in which the linear programming relaxation um, does terribly and, and doesn't tell you much about the integer program. So capital G is a graph. It has a collection of vertices and it has a collection of edges. So capital V is the vertex set, capital E is the edge set. And in the maximum independent set problem, we're trying to find the maximum number of vertices possible in a, in a subset where no two vertices in that subset are connected by an edge. So if I wanted to try to find you know, a reasonable collection of as many vertices as possible where no two vertices in my set are connected, Maybe I start with this vertex, and then I know I can't include either of those two vertices because they're adjacent. And so then perhaps I continue on, and maybe I want to include this vertex and this vertex. All right, and then I can't include that one or this one or that one, but maybe I choose to include that vertex and that vertex. All right, so this was just by I, and I wouldn't be surprised if that is optimal, but I don't know for sure. But I found an independent set of size five. All right, and your task is to, is to find the largest size independent set of vertices. Again, independent means that no two of these vertices are connected by a, a single edge. So we can encode this program as an integer linear program. Um, each vertex, little v, has a variable associated to it, x sub v. And that variable is either 0 or 1. 0 if the vertex is not in our set, and 1 if the vertex is. So because we've constrained um, x sub v to be this integer, 0 or 1, that's why this is an integer linear program. We're maximizing the number of vertices in the set. That's a linear optimization function. And we have this constraint where we don't want any two vertices in our set to share an edge. So we look over all the edges, u and v. Sorry, we look over all the edges, pretend we have an edge that connects vertices u and v. We have this constraint that both of the endpoints of that edge can't be in our set, because then our set's not independent. So an, a way of encoding that is you can't have both x u and x v be 1, because then both vertices would be in your set. So the sum of x u and x v has to be at most 1. All right, so this is our integer linear program. It's a linear program, but we have this integrality restriction. And um, solving this is NP hard. So this is a very hard problem to solve. And as I'll tell you at the end, it's actually a very hard problem to approximate as well. You might try to approximate this by a linear programming relaxation. You'll fail, as I'll explain. But in this relaxation, the only change is that this restriction gets replaced with the restriction that um, each variable should be between zero and one. So now we're not assigning, you know, is a vertex in the set or not? You know, you could have a weighting on how much is the vertex included or not, but you still have this restriction that the sum of those weightings along any edge is at most one. Okay. So I want to explain why for this problem, the linear programming relaxation is just a really bad approximation to the integer programming problem. So I want to explain why here, this is a very bad approximation. By contrast, we've seen other problems in the prior videos where the LP relaxation is a good approximation. Okay, so 
In the LP relaxation, where the variables can be any real numbers between zero and one, we always have the following feasible solution. You can always let every vertex have the value one half. And then when you look at an edge, the sum of the two values is just one half plus one half, which is equal to one. Therefore, we've satisfied all these constraints. So what is, what is the optimum in our LP relaxation? What's the, what's the sum? Well, if, if every vertex has a value one half, then that sum is equal to the number of vertices you have divided by, or maybe I'll just say times one half. Okay. So, so I've always found a solution to the LP relaxation that has a value at least the number of vertices divided by two. Okay, let me show you that that can be really, really far away from the optimum of the integer program. So pretend G is a complete graph. So here might be a complete graph on four vertices. I have all possible edges. Here's a complete graph on five vertices. I have all possible edges. Okay, let me draw one more. My drawings aren't very good, but I'm doing them quickly. Here's the complete graph on six vertices. So I have all six choose two possible edges. Okay, if G is a complete graph, how many vertices can we have in an, um, how many vertices can we have in a independent set? Well, you can have at most one vertex in an independent set. Because once I've added one vertex, I can't add any others because they're all connected to my first one. You see that? So if your graph is this complete graph, then the integer program has optimum value one. All right. These two numbers, the number of vertices divided by two and one, are very, very far apart. You can make these arbitrarily far apart by getting bigger and bigger complete graphs, right? So I've shown you that this linear programming relaxation gives you a terrible approximation of the integer program that you might care about, which is actually solving this um, maximum independent set problem. All right, so this I would, uh, describe as a hard integer programming problem. And it's hard in the sense that um, not only is it NP hard, but an, an linear program relaxation does a terrible job of approximating it in general. So the moral is that sometimes a linear programming re relaxation tells us next to nothing about the integer programming problem. Okay. Let me end with the following comment. It's not just that the LP relaxation is hard for the maximum interdependent set problem. It's hard in general. No method can give you a good approximate solution to the maximum independent set problem. So I'll, I'll refer you to this paper. It's titled, Click This Maximum Independent Set Problem. It's hard to approximate within this factor. Okay, and here, is the number of vertices in our graph, all right? So what is the size of a maximum independent set? The size of a maximum independent set varies from one to the number of vertices, okay? So the range of the sizes of a maximal independent set is from one up to n. You would think that a problem where the, the answer is somewhere between one up to n, the number of vertices, you, you would think you could approximate that within a factor of n to the power one minus epsilon, right? Take epsilon to be very small, n to the power one minus epsilon is, is super close to n, right? So you'd expect, I'm trying to solve a problem, the answer is somewhere between one and n, the number of vertices, 
right? I would expect you could approximate it within a factor of n to the power one minus epsilon. Okay, so like n to the power 0.99. Just, it seems like it's slightly less than n, but it turns out uh, this, this problem, finding the maximum independent set, is hard to approximate even within um, that uh, level of accuracy. So in summary, the maximum independent set problem is an NPR, NP hard combinatorial optimization problem. I explained how to model it as an integer linear program. And I explained to you why the LP relaxation doesn't give you any information in general about the original um, problem. Thanks.